uh, hello everyone welcome to learnautomation.com this is Mukesh so in this tutorial we'll see how to create testng.xml file the reason is uh, why I'm creating this uh, video tutorial because in the last week I created one more video on Jenkins in that Jenkins I'm running that batch file using uh, Jenkins and that batch file I'm running this XML file I got couple of the doubts that uh, some of the participants are not able to create testng.xml file using Eclipse so I will show you how you can create this XML file manually so before moving to XML file uh, what is testng.xml it's actually test uh, ng.xml by mistake I have written testing XML so just a small correction you can make it from your side so this is an XML file to take control over your test cases that how exactly you want uh, you want to execute your test cases okay so you can execute test cases based on your requirement like you want to execute parallelly you want to execute sequentially in random order or uh, sequential it's totally up to you so you can mo modify this test in your uh, dot xml so you can refer the online documentation for this xml file uh, so let me make it uh, clear so i will change this to testng.xml so it will be more clear for you so we'll get the official documentation from testng.org this is the official website for testng you will get some other documents as well so we'll see uh, how we can create this xml and finally we'll see how to create this XML file in Eclipse so let's get started so this is our project I will create a separate program for this and I will run this program through that XML file so I will give simply uh, XML demo and I will be taking one small test case and I will simply print on screen because remaining part you can do from your side because I'm assuming you are familiar with selenium so I will create a small method called public void display result okay so this is my one test case so how it, we can make it test case simply I will use at the rate test so it will ask me to import this testng so I will say import test from testng package and here I will say sys out because I simply want to print so I will say my system is quite slow today so it's uh, working very slow I will say hello welcome to testng okay so now I have two options I can run this program uh, directly by right clicking and run as testng test so it will display welcome to testng so this is uh, how you can execute directly via Eclipse and simply through program but once you have a couple of test cases and if you want to run all in one shot then you need one xml file that xml file will execute this test case so right now if i show you how to create automatically so simply if you right click you will get one option called testng and convert to testng but uh, this is not the option for everyone so what i will do i will create an xml file so i will simply right click on this package Okay, and you can right click on the project itself and say new and you can create a new file here and mention this file name as double quotes and say test ng dot xml okay so what it's saying test ng dot xml it's giving one issue here so don't use this double quotes simply say test ng dot xml and click on finish so it will take some time so you can see this XML file is totally blank because we don't have anything to write here so I will just show you this testing at ORG is the official website so here you can click on the documentation part and uh, here you will see some of the uh, tutorials which you can go through once you have free time in this tutorial we are focusing on the testng.xml file so this is the XML uh, file which I am talking about so what I will do I will simply copy this okay and would be good if you copy the full XML from here I will show you how you can how you can customize this as of now simply copy this and simply paste here okay so right now we don't have multiple suits so I will simply remove this test you can see I have two tests here test two test suites so one is your no package one is the regression one so I 
right now I will delete the second one because we are working with a single test suit so here you can change the name of your test suit so I will say this is a demo XML suit and here we need to specify the exact class which we want to execute so here I need to specify the full paths so in the full path I will mention this package name that is cross browsers dot XML demo okay so let me show you you can right click on this and say refactor so you will get this package name you can directly type also but uh, right now I'm simply copying okay sorry this is uh, another shortcut so this is your package name now which file you need to execute now let's say if I need to execute verify title I will say verify title as of now I want to run this XML demo so I will right click and I will say refactor rename so I will copy this name and I will simply specify this so right now my let me remove this unnecessary Java file which is created so now project is fine so our suit name is suit1 and uh, the test suit which we are creating is the demo XML let me change it to some other name let me say demo XML file creation okay now if you run this program simply it will start this test and it will go through this uh, classes tag it will go to this particular package and it will execute only this file okay, so let me show you uh, simply right click just give me a minute I will connect charger sorry uh, so we can start so now you can see uh, if I run this XML file it will simply execute this uh, this particular Java file so if I right click on this and say run as testing suit now you can notice here um, if you run a single Java program now let me show you if you simply right click on this you will get one option test ng test because you are running a simple Java class right but if you click on this XML file so if you say run as you will get test ng suits because um, this XML file is capable to execute multiple test cases so by default you will get test ng suit so let's run this okay so it's executing it's running very fast because we don't have anything in this XML simply we are printing so it is saying that test ng is running it is available under C drive work workspace to video tutorial learn automation this is exactly our uh, project and inside our project we have testng.xml and it's printing okay. so if you simply refresh your project so let me refresh it and if you open this test output you will notice here whatever this suit name we have given here test uh, demo xml file creation right so the same folder has been created and the test suit which is coming inside this suit is a demo XML so if I open this demo XML file is ready if you simply open this you will get one report okay so this is our test case which we are running so this is straightforward okay you don't have to worry about this but I can explain you we have one parent tag called suit okay that will be closed here inside this suits you can have a couple of test suits here so in this tutorial I have taken only one test suit inside this we have one tag called classes and classes is getting closed here inside this classes tag you can specify multiple classes so it will execute all the classes okay so again uh, I will create one more so I don't want to write a separate program so I will say copy and paste again and this time I will make another name XML demo one and simply I will click on OK so you can see I have one more class if I want to execute all uh, means these two programs I will simply copy this and I will paste here and this time I will change the name to demo1 so what it will do it will execute de XML demo and XML demo1 okay and you will see two times this message and would be good if I change this so let me change it welcome to selenium world okay it's, it's very easy now if you run this XML file and run as testing suits okay so you can see how uh, it's showing a run to and it is running all the classes which we have specified in this XML file in the same way you can check here you can again refresh and you will get two different different uh, execution reports so it's a very small tutorial I know it's uh, but it's a very basic one 
if you're not getting this option to how to create XML file uh, directly from Eclipse you can go through in this way that's all I have for this small tutorial so we have covered all these things so hope you will uh, implement the same in your project that's all I have for this demo so thanks for watching this video you can subscribe my youtube channel for more updates in case if you have any doubts you can send me an email on mukeshotwani.50 at gmail.com uh, thanks for watching have a nice day bye bye